have made it to Bayonne. This is the third major stop on our fantastic France road trip. Promises to be an interesting little town. And I say little, it's 50,000 compared to uh, Bordeaux. This is very, very small. So we're looking forward to exploring. Right now behind me is the uh, walls of the old city. And this is Port de Spagna. We're going to go in and check this out. And we're going to share the rest of the tour of this city with you. After walking through the shade of Port de Spagna, we pop out and right into the heart of the town. Well, maybe not a heart, but it looks so inviting. Let's take a stroll. I absolutely love little shopping streets. I'm, it may not be apparent from your perspective on screen, but it's a narrow little shopping street. This is a round building. This is awesome. I am so excited. Hope you could hear that, but Jody is thrilled to death with this. Bordeaux. It's very much the same color everywhere you look. Very light stone. Here, all of a sudden you've got all kinds of great colors on the shutters changing. We have entered into the Basque country. And you would expect, at least I would expect, that there would be some you know, color, some red particularly. So red and green seems to be the theme on the shutters going along through this town. I love this. This is great. I'm so glad we came here. Alrighty. First stop on our walking tour of Bayonne is the Chateau Vieux, the old fortress, the old castle. Now it's an officer's mess, so we can't go into it, but it's impressive. That's number one. Number two, cathedral. Number two on our walking tour in Bayonne is the Cathedral of Notre Dame. It's a Gothic, a Gothic cathedral that was, like so many cathedrals, burned to the ground and rebuilt. And so it might be surprising, but the kings of England controlled this area. That surprises me. Stepping inside the Cathedral of Notre Dame de Saint-Marie is mind-blowing. I have never been in a place this ornate. I just gobsmacked. This is what I love about France. S little squares like this, people out dining. Uh, I love this. Uh, it just makes my heart go pity pat. Now I think this is pretty cool. The bus system here is electric. And it's tiny. And it's cute. <laughs> Well, we've lost our way. We can't find number four on the list, which is the cloisters. It's supposed to be right here where the uh, cathedral is, but we can't find it. So we're going to move on. According to the map that we have, this is kind of what they say about their city. An incredibly varied city, 
but with unique character. And so far, I'm agreeing 100%. And love. Oh, this is, this is superb. So, you know, I'm not sure how many Americans make it to Bayonne, but they sure should. This is a great, great little town. We're having such a good time, and we just got here. We've made our way through town, and we're at Pont Morengo. We're crossing the River Neve, and we, I think, are going to go to a little chocolate museum, something or other, that Jody just absolutely loves chocolate, so we're going to go there. Standing outside of Saint Andre Church, and you might notice there aren't any spires. That's because they were taken down because they were too heavy. Find out fascinating little things when you visit towns like this. We are climbing a little hill. We're approaching Chateau Neuf. It's the new castle, and it was started, construction was started by King Edward I and he used the exact same architect for this castle that he used for the fabulous and famous castle in Wales, Carnarfon. Really interesting little tidbit that, that Jody just went, oh my god, really? 